Hello. So recently, Google's algorithm decided to do this funny thing that it does every now and then, which is where it promotes a video that I uploaded two to three years ago that has no relevance to what's going on right now for no good reason. There was a video on removing the JTAG connector that got about 100,000 views over the course of a day once that I had published three years ago. And now the video over the past few days that's been getting uh, bombed into everybody's feed is apparently this video I did on Viceland. Viceland is a television channel. They also have uh, news and opinion, f all sorts of uh, interesting, interesting journalism that I will let you judge for yourself the character of. I'd suggest starting with articles like masturbation during childbirth, the type of really quality journalism that leads people online to say that you should learn to code. So they offered me a television show, and this w was something that was offered that I did not ask for. To be clear, I never called them up and said, hey, I would like a television show. What can you offer me? This was something where people came into my business unsolicited two to three times until I was finally here, laid it on the table. I said, my YouTube channel is getting 10 times the viewership it used to. My business is very, very busy. I'm here till 3 a.m. every single day. I have a lot on my plate. You, if you want me to do this, you need to convince me that it's worthwhile for me to even remotely consider it. They sent me back a contract. I talked about it for an hour in that video. Long story short, it was the legal version of doing this to somebody. They wanted 10% of revenue from the business. They wanted the ability to audit my business in spite of the fact that it would have nothing to do with the TV show. They wanted to pay me a fairly low amount per episode for the amount of work that would go into it. They wanted the ability to say what I upload to my YouTube channel. They, it, it, it was awful. You, you could just check, check that thing out. I, you could make more money bagging groceries at Whole Foods than you could have off of that contract. But anyway, I d replied to it with that video with what I think the proper response was when somebody sends you something that completely ridiculous and wastes your time when you're making it clear that this is, I, I'm, I'm doing a favor by taking time out of my actual work to listen to your idea only for you to then completely shit on it, completely ignore everything I said and give me the biggest middle finger you can, which is to give the middle finger back. And it was interesting because a lot of people have commented saying, that's not the right thing to do. You don't understand how business, you don't understand how entertainment works. They're supposed to write you a contract where they screw you over, and then you're supposed to cross out the things that don't make sense and write your own stuff in. You don't understand, Lewis. They're supposed to try to screw you, and then you're supposed to negotiate back and forth as if this is acceptable in any other industry. I don't have customers come in and then tell them, yeah, I know your computer was $1,200. It's going to be $1,100 to fix it. No, I don't do that. Then I would be an Apple store. I am not an Apple store. I do not do business the way an Apple store does business. Therefore, I do not accept when somebody else tries to do business with me where they are treating me as if they are the Apple store and I am the customer. If I wished to fuck others or be fucked on a regular basis, then I would go work at an Apple store. And when it, particularly when it comes to a television show that I had no desire to do, expressed no interest in whatsoever, and was clear up front that you need to make it worth my time to do this, when they respond with a middle finger, for some reason people think it is strange that I respond in kind with that middle finger. And they will make up all sorts of excuses. And the excuse that I want to talk about and expound on in this video is that idea that that's just how it is. or you should know how it is, or that's the way it's supposed to work, or you don't understand the way it's supposed to work. No, you don't understand. I understand the way it works. I don't care. I don't care if the way that you work is by fucking people. I do not want to be around people whose profession it is to fuck other people. That does not sound interesting to me, unless it's maybe a video with Catch a Cassin. But that is not something that is... That, that, that I feel like doing day to day. I don't want to be around people who are in an industry where they think it is normal that you just screw everybody over that you work with. I don't care. I don't have to care. I have the luxury of not having to care. This is my store. This is my business. I have customers who come in. They're willing to spend money on things. I have other projects I work on. That allows me to provide for the life that I want where I am not struggling. And as a result of that, I don't have to deal with individuals who think that it is normal to try to screw people. And something interesting came up recently with, uh, with uh, this, the, the parts company I talked about, uh, E-Tech. Um, so there was this one person that reached out to me and said, Hi, we'd really like to sponsor your YouTube channel. And they wrote a really personalized message 
to my repair email that is designed for repair inquiries, not sponsor spam, saying that they would like to sponsor my channel. It was so personalized that you actually could copy and paste it directly to the email that they sent Jessa Jones at the same time. And that, that's how much research I know they did, because people will say, well, what if they didn't know about this? They did so much research that they copied and pasted the same message to several people. Ironically, two of those people were people that their company banned for pointing out that there was a slight issue with one of their products. Jessa may have gone a little bit further than I did, but that's fine. Everything Jessa pointed out about their flex cables having exposed backlight traces, which is going to blow backlight fuses, was completely correct. They said, no, you don't understand. Even if you gave them contacts that allowed them to make six figures in money a few years ago because you were shutting down your sales LCD supply business, even if you did that, even if you helped promote them, even if you did everything you can to educate them on how to get into a different sector of the business, even if you promoted them as much as humanly possible and made them money, and then they banned you for pointing out one thing. No, you should... That's, you don't understand the way business works. They were bought out by another company. Maybe they don't remember. Maybe they hired somebody that doesn't know. I don't care. You think that I don't understand. No, I understand that that's how it works. I understand that many of these companies that for advertising, they will hire some PR person that is essentially the white-collar equivalent of a burger flipper, except less useful because at least the burger flipper allows people to be fed, that knows nothing about their industry, knows nothing about the people in their industry, knows nothing about what the people in that industry want, but will then copy and paste a templated message and spam it to as many people as possible and not care what the outcome is and not care if that person just so happens to hold viewpoints that are completely antithetical to the viewpoints that the company that is doing sponsoring held, as is the case with Eli the Computer Guy, where people will say, "Why?" Well, he, he said, after three years, you don't want to sponsor me. Why don't you sponsor me? And they say, well, we don't like your stuff. And he'll say, well, didn't you watch my stuff? And there'll just be this blank stare that Eli talks about between him and the sponsor. No, you don't understand. I know how their business works. I understand crystal clear that they have a PR person that has the brain the size of a peanut. And that person's job is to copy and paste these same templated messages to a bunch of different people and then get the first person who bites to show their crappy product. I have no interest in that. I have no interest in having a relationship with a company that employs those practices. The same way that I have no interest in having a relationship with someone in the entertainment business if what is normal accepted practice in that business is to send somebody a contract where they try immediately to screw them right up the ass. That is not something that I am interested in. It's not that I don't understand how it works. I clearly understand how it works, and I want nothing to do with it. And I also want nothing to do with this defeatist mindset, which says that, well, that's just the way it is. You have to accept how it is. You might as well just deal with it. That seems like a pretty crappy way to live life, a pretty boring, defeatist, miserable, sad way to live life. People have said, well, you're not supposed to fix these boards. You don't have schematics for them. There's no supply chain for the parts. It's not practical to do it at the consumer level because you're not going to find people who are qualified. You might as well just deal with it. You're not going to be able to educate people en masse on how to do this. You might as well just live with it. Fuck that, that is a miserable, defeatist mindset that goes against everything that I've talked about on this channel. And to decide that I am going to go back and forth with people who've wasted three hours of my times in meetings for something that I didn't ask for after they send me a crappy deal? Hell no! And the idea that I am going to start sponsoring these, uh, being a sponsor for companies that have acted this way, a company that went bankrupt and left all of their us the, the users just fucked on our amazing credit? No! Now, you may think, well, Lewis, it's not their fault. They bought a company that went bank. Okay, how about this? How about we set a standard so that if you want to buy a company for pennies in the dollar because they went bankrupt, if that's the way you choose to line your pockets, you do you. But we are going to remember every single thing that that company did wrong to people in the process of going bankrupt, and we're going to remember it. And you're going to have to answer for it the same way that you would is if you were the original owners. 
How about if an, somebody in the entertainment industry decides we are going to make it our process to screw people, or we are going to totally separate the individuals who decide to go out there and acquire talent and speak to them and work out deals with them with the individual that writes the contract. You're totally allowed to do that. However, if the individual who writes the contract writes something completely antithetical to what the individuals who actually went out and sought the talent said to them, then we're not going to allow you to hide behind that wall of, oh, we're just a talent acquisition. It's not like we write the contract or make the deals. You have to talk to that person. But that person's not in today, so you won't be able to. Please don't be mad at me. No! No! You were the person who reached out to me. You were the person who wasted two hours in my office. You're the person who I wasted two hours with when I visited your office. You're the person that I'm going to hold responsible, and you're the person that I'm going to tell to go F yourself when I get a copy of that contract. How about we try to hold people accountable and responsible for the actions they take and the decisions that they make, rather than just taking this bullshit defeatist attitude that's, that's the way the world is. And I just find this particularly interesting because people have said well look at how they're doing yes look at how or lewis i you know i wouldn't want to be you you clearly make bad business decisions how many times have i gone bankrupt how many times ztech gone bankrupt how many employees have i uh, added over the past few months percentage wise how many employees has vice laid off over the last few months percentage wise i actually think i'm doing pretty damn well I may not be a multi-billionaire, I may not be some conglomerate with tens of thousands of employees or a shipping center that has a hundred people bubble wrapping stuff, but you know what I have? Self-respect, integrity, and a sense that the world doesn't have to be the shitty way everybody else says it has to be. If you want to see the world change in any way, shape, or form, you have to be a part of that change that you want to see in the world, rather than simply saying, this is the way it is, throw up your hands, and just accept it and deal with it like a bitch. I highly suggest that you do not live your life like a bitch, and I don't plan to either. Thank you for, ever, uh, for watching, and as always, I hope you learned something.